Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison. Today we're going to be talking about some wardrobe resolutions for the new year. I saw Lydia Tomlinson upload a video talking about her 2022 wardrobe resolutions and I thought that was a really great idea. I've definitely been thinking about this a lot myself. So I just wrote down a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. There's definitely a lot of things that I would love to do for my style and my wardrobe and my channel, but I kept the list pretty short to the things that are at the most top of mind for me right now and that I think are the ones that are actually the most achievable for me. And I would love to just like keep the conversation open and discuss with you guys what your wardrobe resolutions are for the year and just kind of like share some tips and tricks and ideas that we all have. Okay, the first thing that I definitely wanted to keep doing in 2022 is keeping track of all of my new clothing purchases. I started doing this a couple of months ago. I created a spreadsheet and in there I would just keep track of all of the clothing and shoes and accessories that I bought what the price of it was when I purchased it and try to keep track of how many times I've worn it in a month. This helps me a lot with tracking how much I'm really spending on clothing during the month because honestly I do tend to order a lot and return a lot and it's pretty hard to actually gauge how much you've spent on the things you've decided to keep. It's also really nice to just be able to see all the new in pieces at a glance and see how much I've been wearing them or just like remind myself to wear it if I've kind of forgotten about it. So the spreadsheet is something that I have been doing for a couple of months and it's something that I definitely want to keep up with. But a new thing that I want to push myself to do more in 2022 is actually keep track of all of my clothing in like a closet app. So the nice thing about keeping track of everything that you purchase pretty immediately is that you can save the like professionally photographed product photos and really easily just like import those into an app and cut out the background and stuff and then you can create those really cool like flat lay outfit photo collage things. So along with keeping track of how often you're wearing like the new in pieces in your wardrobe in a month, I would also really like to track how much I'm wearing my clothes in general and tracking what I'm wearing every day. It's definitely a lot of work but I think in the long run I'll get a much better idea of what items go well with others, be able to create outfits a lot more easily where I have a lot of duplicates of things and maybe where I have some missing places as well. I also think it'll be a really nice way to put together outfits on the fly if there's something that I'm thinking about purchasing but aren't aren't sure like how it's going to fit in with the rest of my wardrobe. That's still something that I'm trying to do like non-digitally as well. But I think just having photos of all my clothing and having everything documented and stuff will just be really cool to have. And for anyone wondering, the app that I downloaded is called A Closet. It seems pretty nice and easy to use so far. I also did try out Stylebook a while back. That one also seems like a really good one, but I think I'm gonna stick with A Closet for now just because it seems a little bit more up-to-date and modern and I think they're continuing to come out with new features and stuff, which is always exciting. Okay, my second wardrobe resolution is to adjust my wardrobe more to my lifestyle. Since I do work from home and honestly I don't see myself going back to work in an office anytime soon, I realize that that takes up so much of my life and it really just doesn't make sense for me to spend a lot of time and effort and money on things that I'm never gonna wear. I spend probably 80 to 90 percent of my time at home and I don't have to look super nice during that time. However, I definitely feel better when I'm wearing my cuter clothes and I put a little bit of makeup on. So I would love to have an at-home wardrobe that I feel confident and comfortable in. For example, my most worn footwear is house slippers. Actually, let me grab them. I have these rubber hot pink house slippers that I got in Hong Kong years ago and these are like the most comfortable best house slippers ever but they're just not the cutest. They're not very aesthetically pleasing so I'm like always having to push them out of the way when I take videos or photos or something and it's taken me the longest time to get replacements for them because honestly these are just like really really practical and comfortable but I don't feel the most confident and it's not the easiest to make content when I want to at home. So what I'm saying is that if house slippers are my most worn shoe of all time I think it's justifiable and it makes sense for me to purchase something that truly makes me happy and excited and actually goes a lot better with my at-home outfits. And of course this extends to the other side of the spectrum too. Since I'm only spending 10 to 20% of my time outside, it doesn't make sense for me to own a ton of different jackets because if I were to actually count it out and I were tracking what I was wearing every day, I'm sure I would see that the majority of my jackets get worn zero times or once or twice in a season. And I also really wanna keep in mind that social media does not help this. It's really easy to go on Instagram and Pinterest and you're like, I wanna add 
all these different things to my own wardrobe but the majority of people including me just doesn't need 20 different jackets or 20 different pairs of jeans and this is honestly pretty conflicting for me as someone who wants to keep creating fashion content and wants to put together really cute outfits to share with you guys but at the end of the day i really have to think of what my lifestyle actually is and that it's incredibly excessive and wasteful to just hoard a bunch of things that you don't actually wear. Okay, my last wardrobe resolution for 2022, and honestly these are all for all of the years after that as well, but I want to make purchases with more intention. So similarly to my previous resolution, it's all about the same problem of just like having too much of things and really honing in and developing a really keen sense of what you actually need and what you will actually wear a lot. So in order to prevent the sheer volume of clothing that I have from getting out of hand so periodically is to be a lot more selective with my purchases and always have specific reasons for adding new things to my wardrobe. I'm very guilty of getting very obsessed and having this tunnel vision on specific styles of clothing and I'll just like keep buying it and keep buying it until I realize I have like four of the exact same sweater so i really want to get into the habit of asking myself do i have something really similar in my wardrobe already if i have duplicates will i still continue to get the same amount of wear out of each one or will i start wearing one and not the other or whatever and also thinking very clearly about why i want to purchase something and also of course just thinking of different ways of how i can style a piece a lot of times i feel like i really don't know what my style is and what i want it to be not that the majority of my purchases are like super impulsive but i think stopping to think and just really buy something with a specific reason and intent behind it will really help in defining my style and the shape of my wardrobe okay i think that is all i had to talk about for now thank you all for hanging out with me don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and Leave a comment if you want. I would love to discuss with you all some wardrobe resolutions for 2022. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.